Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, it's good to see you all again for Celebrating Act 2 with my great partner, John Coleman, and Bill Jordan, our favorite philosopher, because he knows how to embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. <laughs> I know how to hold the coffee mug up to the uh, God bless camera. you. All right, that's a little hey. early. We get to that in a, a few minutes. You can't, I can never plug it enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bill, speaking of being a baby boomer, uh, all us baby boomers are of the age now when we're considered seniors, if you can believe that. I can't believe it. But I was, the other day we were talking to some family and we were looking back at old family photos. Um, and I, we don't have, we lost in my family, we lost all the photos. Uh, when my mother died, we lost all the photos of our particular family. So I have no pictures of mm. me as a kid. And I was trying to remember what it was like being a kid. And I have great memories. I thought it was just wonderful being a kid. I had a great childhood, even though I don't have pictures of it. Um, and I thought to myself, I was trying to think, well, what was the best thing about being a kid? And I think for me, it was just going out to play. That was it. That was your job. Yeah. It was, yeah, but it was, you just, you were told, go out and play. That was your, that was. Go play. That was the instruction. That was it. When the streetlight comes on, come home. Yeah. You know? How about you? Well, yeah. I mean, I had a great childhood, too. We were playing. I mean, we'd go out and play. I mean, I, I, it dawned on me the other day. I thought, you know, how different it is in many ways like in my neighborhood growing up, I, we had some guys <clears throat> and we would go play army or something after school or on the weekend through the neighborhood. So you've got these, you know, 10, 11, 12 year old kids running around with these toy guns, running around people's houses in different yards and bang, bang, and I got you. And you don't see that anymore. I mean, that would be, they, the police would be called. You know, the police <laughs> would be called by that. And something else, my wife and I were driving down the road the other day and uh, we saw an adult, you know, a line of adults on bicycles. It's like, you know, when I was a kid, you didn't see a grown up on a bicycle. You saw kids on bicycles. Yeah. Now you only see grown ups on bicycles and you don't see kids on bicycles. That's true. That's I mean, true. So, why, has why the world flipped that? on us? I don't know. And we drive by tennis courts when I was, gosh, when I was. 14, 15, 16, 17, on up to maybe 20, uh, I'd get a buddy or two of mine, and we would have to ride all over Tidewater, Virginia, the Newport News Hampton area, where I grew up, looking for an empty tennis court. People were waiting in line to get the next court. Now you go by, I mean, you know, there are typically four or six or eight courts in a space, totally empty. I don't know if the people are just playing them online now or what. It's just different. But I think, you know, what do we miss as a kid? I think the naivete. We didn't know what we didn't know. Yeah. Ignorance was bliss. We had no idea the challenges that growing up was going to entail and throw at us. I was talking to a friend of mine that I've known since fourth grade the other day. So, you know, I've, we've known each other 57 years, something like that. But just talking about how, again, we, we thought that as we grew up, things just fell into place and, you know, you live happily ever after. We had no idea yeah. of what life was going to entail. You, you know, know something? You know something? Uh, I got to jump in here during this bah humbug session that we've sort of... Uh, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, bah, no, no, not no, at all. No, no. I'm I'm on the one shot now, so I get the screen because I control the 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 uh, shoots. But it seems to me that um, yeah. Uh, by the way, I I do agree with uh, both of you that one of the memories that I do have is as a kid, you went out. We lived in a sort of suburban area, and you you went out and you were told not to come home till dinner. Okay, and if you didn't yeah. come home till dinner, they didn't worry until like the next day or so. But you were probably okay. But really, you know, it's beginning to sound a little bit like, well, I went to school and we walked in the snow uphill both ways. Yeah. And uh, quite frankly, I see kids today, they're playing soccer, they're playing baseball, they're out doing gymnastics. 
Uh, even a couple are riding their bikes to and from school. That seems to be a big thing uh, out in, in our area. So I think it's just that the memories are different and ours are warm and fuzzy because I think basically there was less um, worry about if a kid goes out, is he going to be abducted off the street? So to me, that's the big difference is that the kids are either closer to home or connected. Uh, but uh, your memories are not unlike, uh, I grew up in uh, uh, New York City, uh, John in the New York City environment. And I think all three of us pretty much had the same kind of upbringing, which was go out, especially during the summers, play, have a good time, and show up whenever you show up. You want to grab a cookie or a glass of milk or lunch or something, that's fine. But basically, you were on your own for the whole day and nobody was worried about you. And I think that's the big difference between our day and today. Could very well be. I, I, my apologies if I was sounding like, you know, the, like a grumpy old man. Yeah. I do have something. I do have something that um, connects me to my childhood that I'm doing on a regular basis. And I guess it has. It, it. I'll give you a clue. It's a food. Can you just make a guess at what it is that I'm well, doing? Well, it ain't broccoli. <laughs> it ain't broccoli. Yeah. Peanut oh, butter yeah. and jelly sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is It is getting to be routine for me that I'm just like, you know what? I want something. I don't know what. Oh, I know what it is. Peanut butter and jelly. Crunchy it, or smooth? Crunchy or smooth? Uh, it doesn't matter. I've been buying smooth, mm. you know. What kind uh, of jelly? Right. What well, flavor jelly? Any uh, typically uh, grape or strawberry preserve so, so Bill, uh, since you bring up peanut butter and jelly, I just want you to know that as a child, I considered that uh, to be a special treat. But as an adult, I've learned that it's one of the three basic food groups, peanut butter and jelly, hot dogs, and pizza. Mm. Really? It, it's amazing you would say that because, uh, well, now I did grow up I and mean, peanut butter and jelly was like a go to. I remember having that for breakfast, even. And typically it would be packed in elementary school, early elementary school. I would, uh, you know, take a, a bag lunch or I had, actually had a metal uh, lunchbox with the thermos. And I had an NFL metal lunchbox. And typically it would be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and, you know, whatever else in it. Um, but uh, but for today, I mean, it's still peanut butter and jelly. I routinely, I've gotten back into a hot dog kick, and we've been having quite a bit of pizza here lately. So uh, I've been enjoying the uh, triumphant right there that All you right. have uh, referenced. I, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be rude, but you're making me hungry. Hey, that's okay. It's it's time to embrace the boom. You know how many hot dogs I can shove in this thing. <laughs> 16 but, ounces but, of hot dogs right there. Uh, but, Bill, where can they get that hot dog holder? Well, you can get this hot dog holder, uh, 16 ounces of hot dog holding or peanut butter and jelly. You can squish a couple of sandwiches into there, I'm sure. I don't know about pizza. But uh, Bill Jordan, embracetheboom.com. And the gist of this is about being a baby boomer, right? And to embrace the life we have as a baby boomer or, in fact, anywhere you are in your life, live your life, forget your age, Embrace the Boom. The website is Bill Jordan. Embrace the Boom. dot com. Amen. Uh, Thanks, guys. We we try not to date uh, these uh, episodes, but I just want to say that peanut butter and jelly also seems to be the uh, food uh, of choice for selling nuclear secrets. <laughs> Somebody just put a SDHC card in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and left it someplace, uh, and. Uh, it was an FBI oh. sting. Oh, so so they're they're beyond our youth when we were just enjoying it for. I have I have never I have, I have never used food for a nefarious purpose. Okay, but you know what? You could embrace it. <laughs> I would. All right, thanks. Anyway, thank you guys. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.